Hey guys, welcome to this video. In today's video, we will be hosting our site Taskflow using OnRender. We have already built this site and you can watch this on our YouTube channel. Let me show you the site. Here, this is the task manager. We need to log in first. As I have already made an account, I will be logging using that credentials. Here I have added a task which is hosting done on on render which has a high priority. So let's complete this task. So now let's go to Chrome type here on render. Now click on the first link present here, then click on get started. After this, create an account using Google. Now it will redirect you to dashboard. Now go back to your VS code and let's publish our repository to GitHub. Now give our repository name. You can give any name. In my case, it will be personal task manager. Now click on private repository and click on OK. You can keep it as public also. So it will take some time. Now after this, it will be publishing this to the branch. So again, it will take some time. Now as it's successfully deployed here, let's go to our GitHub. Now, as you can see the repository here, here we have front end and back end. Now let's click on add new and then click on web services. Here click on the credentials. If you don't see your repo here, then click on configure in GitHub and let's provide the access to the repository that we want to host here. Click on personal task manager and click on save. So now after this, you will be able to see your repo here. Now give the name, it will be backend. Then after this, for the root directory, give backend. For build command, it will be npm install. And to start, it will be node server.js. So it will run our backend server. Then click on free, add the environment variable file here. Choose a file here click on .env file and click on open. This file will be coming from the repository. Then click on deploy web services. Then again, it will take some time here. So this is the backend URL. So now it will take some time as it shows the status building. Now it will show build successful and then it will be showing deploying. Then after some time, it will show node.js, node server.js running and server started on 10,000 and DB connected and your server is live here. So let's copy this URL and paste it here. So it will show you that API working. So once you get this message, let's again copy this and go to our VS code and let's change our route that we have been given to the for the backend here. Let's change this localhost 4000 to our backend route here. Then again, let's go to task item. Let's change here as well. Then for sign up, change it here. Let's come control H. And now let's paste it here. Now let's go to profile, change it here. Then again, change it here. In the pending task, 
then go to our login and change it here then do the same for the layout change the url here and then in add task let's change it here so after changing all these let's comment all these and push it to github so pushing back in url changes so let's commit it and now after this let's click on sync changes now let's close all this then after this when it's done let's go back to github and let's refresh it here it will show that the changes are done here then let's click on add new static site and now again select this repository and give the name here underscore frontend now after this scroll down repository name it will be frontend then in build command type here npm install and npm run build so it will create a dist folder here then in publish directory let's type here dot slash dist folder that will be coming from the npm run build command after this we don't have any environment variable file here so let's click deploy static site now again it will take some time here it is shows the status is building and this is your front end url so let's copy this front end url for now and let's wait till the process is getting completed it will be showing build uploading build your site is live so once you get this status your site is live let's copy this and let's paste it here so now it will show you your site is live here so let's log in again using the same credentials now give the password for this email id and let's click on login in let's save it here so now it will show you the uh, data here now after this let's go here and rewrite redirect and rewrite setting and add some rules here so for slash asterisk it will be index.html so it will help you in refreshing the site here it will don't show any error here action will be rewrite here save changes after saving the changes let's go again here and let's refresh it here now once you go to pending task and complete task it will show you the task here so now after this click on as we have completed this task here so we have done the hosting of task manager using our on render so now after this once we again click on here so it will be logged in again so this is all stay tuned for more and thanks for watching